today I have a holiday gift guide and this time I'm doing kind of do-it-yourselves or inexpensive gifts um, because last time people said that the gifts were a little bit more expensive than maybe they would spend so I wanted to make another video with different options as well so the first thing that I want to talk about is a recipe book and I think that this is a great gift for anyone who likes to cook and try out new things Basically, all you're going to need are the things that are listed right here, and this is a really inexpensive gift idea. Basically, all you have to do is buy a binder, and then you can get kind of, I recommend getting thicker uh, paper, printer paper, and you can print out this template that I'll have linked in the down bar. It's a really adorable template, and it has like all the things that you can fill out. Now, you can either fill it out by hand after printing it, or you can fill it out on the computer and then print it out with all the words already in there. Now, this does require a little bit of extra effort on your part because you're also going to have to look for recipes that you think that person would like. So, say if you're looking through like a Martha Stewart magazine or like something like that where they have recipes, then you can just jot them down, rip out the page or something like that, and then you could just put them onto this template and print them out and you're ready to go. Then you just need a hole punch, three little hole punches onto the sides and put them right into the binder. Now, if you want to personalize it even more, then you can do a creative cover like this of the binder. So you can just do like kind of like a scrapbook thing, whatever you want on the cover, you can address it to that person and you'll have a really cute customized gift. Next, I'm going to talk about a personalized calendar and I think this is a really awesome gift for that neat person who likes to be really organized because it's a calendar that, calendar that you are going to personalize for them and it's really really adorable. You can either buy a calendar already made that um, has just like big openings for each day and then you can print little pictures out and you can print pictures, you can put quotes. So my birthday is January 14th so on my birthday in that calendar I would put like a picture of me or something and it'd be really cute so you just have to print stuff out, you can put stickers, you can be really creative and put stuff on the pages while still leaving them enough room to write down what they have to do for that day. Or you can take a different route and you can print out every single page and then put it into a binder or something like that. I personally not that I'm lazy, but I would rather just buy a pre-made um, calendar and then personalize it with little pictures and stuff like I said previously. But I think they're both really, really great ideas and you don't need too many uh, things to create them. Next do it yourself is a candy jar or I mean, I guess you can put pretty much anything you want in the jar like jewelry or something like that. And there are a few ways to go about doing this. One way would be something like this where you actually paint onto the jar. And for this one, you'll need glass paint. You'll need to buy a little glass container at like Michael's or any arts and crafts store. You will also need like a template so you can sketch onto it or you can do it freehand if you're really confident in your drawing abilities. So that's one type of thing that you can do. And you can go to something a little bit simpler which is still personalized and really cute but a little bit easier to do because you're not like having to draw out everything if you're not super, super creative and artistic. So this is basically just buy a really big jar from Michael's or craft store like I said. You can print out a little thing that you want to put on it as well and you can attach that to the ribbon. So that's another cute idea. And the last one which I saw online I thought was absolutely amazing. It's made out of like big candlesticks so if you find them they're probably like yay big and there's wooden ones, there's all different kinds. Um, and you could just buy them and I don't really know where you can get them. I would look at like an old vintage thrift store and you could probably find them really really cheap there because um, I guess not many people would want to buy them. I don't know. But you can just create them into something really cool and then you could use either old jars or you can buy jars at Michael's. And then another thing, if you're going to do something like that, you can spray paint the bottom part and then put like candy in it or something. I think that's so, so cute. The next gift is a video of the year. And I think that this is a really, really special gift to give to someone that you're very close to because they can look back on that year and they'll really like treasure it so much more, which is really, really nice. So basically, all you're going to need for this is a computer, um, some video clips, some photos, some quotes, whatever you want, some songs, and this will all be the digital part of it. And then you just need a DVD. And also, if you want to buy those uh, DVD cases or CD cases, I think that would be a good way to go because it's a little more put together that way and you can get like a pack of 10 for like 5 bucks. 
if you want to get a cover for the DVD, then you could also do that. They sell like those little um, stick-on things that you could personalize, or you could just leave it blank and sharpie it up, whatever you want. You can just compile it all together throughout the whole year, and they'll have a DVD of their year, which is really, really cool. The next gift idea is love coupons, and these are really special for uh, giving to your loved one, your boyfriend, fiance, husband. Um, I think these are really, really great. Basically, you can either do them where it's kind of like a scrapbook way where you uh, just take like thick, colorful paper, you print it out, put designs on them if you're artsy, or you can click on the link in the down bar and I have a template and they look like this. They're kind of just like bonus things and you can print them out that way. So there's two different options. You can really go really creative with this one if you want. And then on the cards, basically you just put things like, um, I'll reward you to a uh, night out to dinner. Sorry, the leaves are going crazy or a massage or a movie together or something like that and you can do as many as you want put them into a little jar and then if your loved one is feeling down a certain day he can go to the jar pick out something and you guys will be treated to a night out to the movies or something like that so that's a really great way to kind of make your gift last throughout the year and to make them feel really really special the next idea is a teacup candle and I thought this was so darn cute because my sisters and I actually made our aunts uh, one year we all made them candles and they were really really cute and our aunts love them So this is a different idea where you can just buy an old uh, teacup and you can go to a vintage or thrift store And you can get one for like two bucks I'm sure you can find one and then you go to Michael's you buy wax you buy the little candle um, wicks you can buy fragrances fragrances to mix into the wax you can buy color so the wax is a different color um, everything will be listed right here you will melt the wax in a pot Stir it around and then drop it into the teacup with the wick standing up and you have a really cute kind of gift that's really kind of classy and sophisticated and super super pretty looking so that's a great gift to give and it, it's not super expensive and you can make I recommend making these in bulk because when you buy the wax and everything you're buying a lot because you can't really buy a small amount of it so you can just make a few of them and give them to your aunts or something like that like my sisters and I did one year this next one is kind of like the love coupons but instead it is a memory jar and this one's great for your sisters or family members or something like that Basically, uh, you write down on personalized little uh, pieces of paper. You can go, you can get stationery if you want from like uh, staples or something. And basically, you just get a jar and you can kind of personalize the jar with uh, paint or with ribbons or something like that. Make it really special on the outside and make it say like memories or something. I don't really know. But you could just put all memories um, on the pieces of paper into that little container. And then throughout the year, if they're having a bad day or something, kind of like the love coupons, they can take out a memory and smile and like kind of remember it and it'll just bring back good times and brighten their day. So that's a really great gift idea as well. This next gift is for a music lover. Um, and this is basically just a mixtape. And you all you need for this is a CD and a CD case pretty much and your iTunes playlist. Now you can look through your songs on your iTunes playlist, pick out ones that you think they would really like. This is a really inexpensive gift because pretty much all you have to do is buy this and the case and you're ready to go. So pick out songs you think they would like, kind of mix it up, do all different genres and stuff like that. So they have a really cool mix CD to listen to in their car throughout the year. And the last gift idea I'm going to talk about is another gift for someone who likes to cook. And this one is really kind of random, but I think it's really pretty and cool. And this is a trivet. Basically a trivet is something that you put hot uh, plates on or hot pans on when you want to put them like on the dinner table with food in them. So you can make one of these for your parent or anyone like that, your aunt or uncle. My sisters and I and my dad made this for my mom one year. I think it was for Mother's Day or I don't even know but she was out of town and we made her one when she was gone. So basically all you need to get are tiles like this and you can opt to put it on a wooden board like so. I don't know why we did that. I guess maybe so it was easier to attach the tiles, but you could just buy like one slab of tile if you want and you can decorate it with tile paint and it turns out really, really cute. You can also make rope ones um, and I'll put a link in the down bar if you want to kind of look into that as well, but I think they make really good gifts. And then on the back, you can just get little sticky so it doesn't scratch up your table. So. As you can see, my sisters and I weren't that great at making it, but I don't know, it turned out really well, and for being like eight years old, I think it still looks pretty good. So that is the do-it-yourself video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check the links in the down bar because I do have some uh, links in there for uh, demos of actually showing you how to do some of this stuff because I figured I found most of these online. 
and just compile them into one video. So just check the link down there and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.